Hey, welcome back to our channel. This is Jared from 3 Cs Recreation, and today we are replacing Mark's frame on his Beta motorcycle. Beta hooked us up. They sent us a new frame for Mark's bike. This is a 2021 350 Race Edition. And the reason this needs a frame is in 2021, it was the first year on this bike, three races into the season, Mark smacked a tree pretty hard, messed up his hand. So he was done for the season, but it, it actually tweaked the whole frame of this thing. Come on in, Braxton. And so um, Mark actually raced it. So we obviously 2021 was out of the window because he got surgery on his hand. But then uh, this year, Mark actually did really, really good on this bike, even with a twisted frame. So what we've been doing for Mark here is he just kind of coupled his rear, the back of the uh, front fender, and actually cut the bottom of it off so it actually clears. So what happened is the steering tube is basically uh, bent down. And I have a hard time now with customers calling and saying that they can't ride on the bent bike because Mark actually was the grand champion for the Wainoa series. So he got a cool poster out of it there hanging, which is pretty awesome. Him on that bike, they gave him a cool pit board. And then uh, this is Mark's second number one plate. And I think, was your first 2020? 2012? 2012, yeah. 2012. So exactly 10 years apart, Mark wins the series. Pretty cool because on any given weekend, there can be three to 400 riders there. So we thought it'd be a really cool day if we do a video of us replacing the frame on this bike. Um, let's just do a walk around. So I don't have an hour meter on how many hours are on this bike, but there is probably 15 races, Mark, probably. Yeah. So... So if we do 15 times three, let's say, so let's, uh, but then you've ridden a little bit. So let's say 50 hours probably total. So for like a long haul for you guys, if you guys have bought one of these, this bike's been bulletproof. Like engine wise, I think we checked your valves once. Yeah, just one time. We've done oil changes when they need them every, every two to three races. If it's a mud race, maybe more. Yeah. Um, tires, suspension has been amazing. We, had, we thought there was something wrong with the forks at first, but it was just the frame being bent. So the KYBs we took apart, they've been good to us. So we thought this would be a really cool video. We're gonna put this bike 100% back to stock. Um, it's gonna be a practice bike, we're gonna keep it around. So on the table, we got everything laid out. We're gonna do a stock exhaust on this thing. We're gonna do the stock wire harness because we have the race harness on it now. We're gonna do the stock wheel spacers, stock rear rotor piece. This is the stock gas tank, so we're gonna take his IMS tank off and keep it. We're gonna put the stock coolant hoses back on, so we have all the coolant here. We got the new steering stem bearings that are gonna go on the top, fresh oil, and as always, it's gonna get the three C's printed steering stem lock cover. We're gonna get a new one of those on the new frame. Gotta have that. And we got the new plastics, oh, and tires and tubes. So we are literally gonna take this practice, well, race bike, turn it into a practice bike, keep it around, so um, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna time ourselves in doing this frame job. Right now, it is 4.44. We started at 4.40, and we have a lot to do, so it's not just a, a straight frame replace because we're gonna do the gas tank, tires, wire harness, 100% going back to stock. So first thing we're doing is just stripping this thing down all the way to the frame. That way I can get to the electrical, get the wire harness off of it, get that out of the way. Braxton's our tool guy. He knows his way around the shop toolbox, so he's gonna be taking commands, but yeah, we'll get this thing stripped down and we'll come back when she's all down to the frame. All right, so we got pretty much everything off the front of it. We're just getting the wire harness off now. So I can pretty much leave the wire harness with the back subframe because even the race harnesses don't come with all this. So this is all stock stuff, but it's all wrapped around like the fuel injector, um, throttle body, and then all the wires kind of wrap up to the middle of the frame here. So as soon as I get this separated, we can suck this off the back. And yeah, it's a race bike, and yeah, it's dirty underneath the plastics, but we're getting our torn apart here. So check out the wire harness. You can kind of see like this is why I'm always preaching like the dielectric grease. You come in close practicing. You can see like even on our own race bikes, you're starting to lose it a little bit. You can see how green it was getting there. And then also you can see right here on the frame, where this oh, went yeah. behind the radiator, because there was a radiator right here. You can see it was kind of rubbing. Look at how we were rubbing through our pack. So even on our own race bikes here at the shop, I just want to point out certain things to you guys. Like nothing to have an issue yet, but you can see on that one wire, we were almost losing it. So front of the wire harness is pretty disconnected. We can pretty much get the subframe off the back now. So 
All right, 521, the subframe just came off. There was actually a little bit more to that than I anticipated. Like the two strokes are super simple, but these four strokes have such a wire harness to them. You can see all my plugs there. Well, I'll clean all that up as I put the bike back together. We'll clean all of those connectors and everything's gonna get dielectric greased because that part of the harness stays on the bike. When you buy the race harness with these, it's pretty much just from the display to the middle of the bike is gonna be what's new. So we have to replace that. We'll get, um, so with that being said, we're really close. Danny's working on getting the swing arm off here and rear shock. And then we can pretty much pull motor. So I think we, in, in less than an hour, we're gonna have the bike um, completely off, which is pretty cool. I guess there is four of us uh, moto guys <laughs> going to town on it. And we got Brax and our parts guy playing hide and seek with London, so definitely helping out big time. So we're getting there. So we were doing really good. Thought we were going to have it out in an hour because it's 540. But we have one bolt that's giving us trouble. The bottom motor mount bolt there won't come out. It's actually spinning in, in the engine, so it's not the engine, it's just actually like. The nut itself is giving us some trouble here. So I was gonna recommend like making sure you grease those inside the engine, but it's not it's not that issue. So Jared's getting some tires off so we can get the tires swapped out. So making good progress. All right, this is a 100% disassembled beta in our workshop here. So there's the old frame, and uh, it is 5.53 maybe now, because we've gained a minute. Yeah, 5.53. So it took us a little over an hour, and the majority of our time was that bottom engine bolt would not come out. So some heat and some torch and a bunch of rattle gun that finally came off. So we left the, it's funny, like the handlebars are actually still attached to the motor. <laughs> but without having to take all that apart and bleeding it came out good. So we are working on changing the tires. We're going to start the gas tank next, but we'll get the motor set right back up in here. All right, so we got rear brakes going back on, shocks on, swing arms on, motors mounted. The lower bolt's not on, but steering stems going on. This is our whole reason for doing it. It's not buckled here like the other bike. So let me grab the other frame. I'll show you guys. This was our issue right here in the frame. You can see, oh, upside down. You can see how buckled the frame is. Can you show that, Jackson? Does it show it at all? It's really buckled right here. That's where that lower steering tube's got whacked in super hard. So that was the whole reason for being on this job here. So we're going back together. Sure. Biggest mystery when we're building stuff is where is the eight millimeter? But we found a couple of them. So it's awesome all this work look at that we finally have our frame away or the front fender away from the frame so i guess we never knew until we actually did it so it's exciting to see that the front fender is on and we have clearance like we should so we're getting there all right bike update we've got the subframe back on the wire harness is all back together all the way down through as we've been going we've been cleaning stuff and rerouting stuff like we want to so it's coming together really nice it is seven, it's uh, 7.50, so three hours into it so far. If it wasn't for a couple of bolts and a couple of little things kind of slowing us down, we'd be cooking right along, but not really racing, we just want to do it right. So I've got all the wiring pretty much wrapped up in the front. Got to put the headlight on still. Um, and then the gas tank, that's where this goes. That's what Mark's doing now, he's pulling the guts out of the IMS tank to put back in the stock tank so we can throw that on it. I'm gonna get the headlight to go on next. We'll get the exhaust system ready to go. We're watching some Supercross because that's what time it is. We're, uh, our Girl Scout cookies came in today, so we're surviving off that as well. So we're rolling along. All right, so we just wrapped her up. It is 8.46, so almost exactly four hours. We could have done a little bit quicker. And I should mention that we lost Danny and Jared like two hours ago. And we did stop and have some grilled cheese here a little bit ago. So. Four hours and we, we've got her all the way back to a running bike. So we've got the stock exhaust, stock rear caliper mount, all new plastics, swapped the tank, brand new tires front and rear, all new wire harness. We took the hand guards off of here um, and pretty much everything. Everything's back to stock. So here's that old frame in the box. We have to cut that up. We have to cut it in half, beta's, beta's rule there. And then uh, we're not gonna throw away our plastics. We'll keep those around for plastic or for practice for sure. So. Thank you guys for watching. This was uh, Jared at Three Seas Recreation. Uh, if you guys found it fun, we have a lot of really cool stuff coming up. The Tennessee Knockout, the 24-hour race. So 
Stay tuned on our channel. Feel free to subscribe. Enjoy the ride.